Recorded at an unknown location, this video was posted online 24 hours after Roman Protasevich was detained upon arrival at Minsk airport. I don't have any health problems, either with my heart or any other organs. I continue to cooperate with investigators and I have confessed to having organized mass unrest in the city of Minsk. The journalist says he's being held in a pre-trial detention facility in Minsk. His father is among those who claim the video was made under coercion. I think he was forced to do it. These are not his words. It's not his intonation of speech. He's acting very reserved and you can see he's nervous. It's very likely that his nose is broken because the shape of it is different. My son could not admit to creating mass disorder because he just didn't do any such thing. Activists have also criticised the video and suggested that the journalist was forced to admit wrongdoing. Exiled opposition leader Svetlana Tikhanovskaya says that she too was threatened into recording a video that was published by state media and posted before she fled to neighbouring Lithuania. She's retweeted the video of Protasevich on Twitter, saying it looked like he was put under pressure and calling for his immediate release. Until recently, the 26-year-old worked for an opposition blog that helped to mobilise protesters during demonstrations that gripped Belarus for months after a disputed election last August. The rallies were organised to demand the resignation of strongman president Alexander Lukashenko, who's ruled the country for over two decades. His opponents claim his landslide victory last year was rigged. Thousands of people were detained during the unrest, many of whom were tortured or abused in custody.